Why do I keep attracting these types of people? Why does the universe send me the worst people ever? Are there any good guys, girls out there? Do you ever say these things? Are you wondering what's going on over here? It's almost like you have this perfect attraction system, but just for the wrong types of people. Let's talk about why that happens. I'm Zama Nelson. I'm an online therapist. I help people uplift their relationship with themselves, which upgrades all their relationships with the people around them. Welcome to the therapy studio. Let's jump into this. If you notice, um, people have like this perfect attraction system. You have of what looks like a perfect attraction system. I keep getting the same wrong type. What's going on here? You know, am I doing forever? Some people feel it's, are there any good guys, girls out there at all? Um, here's the thing. The one constant in all these relationships is you. I'm not blaming you. I want to empower you um, because the attraction system is perfect and it will always be perfect. It will always be getting and bringing into your life the kinds of people that you need that are good for you, that you want. And I can say, wait a minute, how could somebody who's bad for me be good for me? It's the, the wrong types, right? So this is where we get into it. Like you have a choice. There's a part of you with emotions, with feelings. There's an inner kid part and an adult part. We are made out of two. There's a kid part that absorbed a whole bunch of things growing up as a kid. Some unmet emotional needs, some false beliefs about who we are. Um, and we carry that with us to this day. So the person that you are today is a combination of the two. There's a kid part until I was 12, 13. Absorbed a whole lot of messages, interactions, the environment, the emotional environment created by my parents I grew up in. We as a kid come into the world looking to get a sense of ourselves. Who are we? Some of it's good. Some of our needs get met. Validation, reassurance, security, confidence, to feel loved, safe. And some of them don't. And when they don't get met, we start trying to understand it, come up with it, try to figure out certain things. Um, and that, that part then, when around 12 or 13, there's an adult part that comes on board. And now here you are today. You still have that kid part. And that's what triggers the heck out of you. <clears throat> now, we have a choice in life. Either we're going to start to face that part, connect with it, or we're going to avoid it. And what's not your fault at all is what you went through as a kid, the environment you grew up in. You came into the world looking for parents to feel love, safe, secure, to get your needs met. Um, but it is up to you now, and I want to empower you to take a look at that and start facing it so you can heal it, move past it. But this is all of your addictions, projection, uh, raging, blaming, you know, all, all the people who can't ever take, you know, take, uh, you know, uh, ownership of their own mistakes. That's what's going on. We're either going to face or avoid. All of the issues that bring somebody to me for therapy are about this. Under, I take the behavior. It's okay. When do you do it? Why do you do it? And underneath it is a whole bunch of emotions that really need attention. But here's how it works. And you don't know this. You didn't realize it. Nobody taught this to us unless you had amazing parents that taught you emotions, but it's not taught in schools or anywhere. Maybe you find it online, but <coughs> we need to face our stuff. But until we do, what's going to happen is we are literally going to attract people into our life time and time again that will bring out those very same feelings. And this is why your attraction system is perfectly working with you and for you, trying to help you heal. So because either we're going to start connecting with what's going on inside of us emotionally, learn from it, work through it, heal it, start meeting our own emotional needs, validating ourselves, or we're going to continually come up against bosses friends, colleagues, and partners that bring out that very same collection of feelings. And that's what it's about. So don't take my word for it. Look online for a feelings chart, download it, okay? And think about a, a, a recent relationship that you had, okay? One of these bad types that you're trying not to connect with anymore. Okay, think about that interaction. So a typical interaction or something they did, but now instead of making it about them, make it about you. And I started to see this in sessions a lot where I would talk to people and they would tell me, well, here's what happened. And I said, and she said, and I said, and he said, and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's okay. But there's clearly something missing here. And I said, well, what were you feeling in that moment? And then there's silence. A lot of it's because we don't think about it. We're not aware of it. A lot of it's because we've been just dealing, dealing with emotions by running away from emotions a long time. Also, we don't have the vocabulary. But once we do, and I give somebody a feeling chart, and I say, okay, can I put yourself back in that moment, that argument, that situation, you were treated that way. Look at this chart of feelings and allow that to give you some suggestions of vocabulary. What were you feeling in that moment? So we'll get five words, eight words. Okay. okay. And so, well, when else have you felt those feelings? Boom, the lights go on very often. Unless it was really traumatic in childhood and so you blocked off a lot of it, that's okay. You can stay in the moment. But that inner kid part was you then back there with parents and growing up in school and friends. And that same part is with you now. And this, this feelings that come up with these partners 
that the universe keeps sending you that are bad for you, it's the same feelings again and again. But we never stop. We never tune in because we don't know. So we don't realize it. And then you say, well, I keep getting the same partner. Well, it's the same experience, trying to put you in touch with the same feelings. It's kind of like Amazon keeps coming to the door to deliver a package and we won't let them in. So they keep coming to the door to deliver it until we say, no, let me open the door, take the package, take a look at it, which is the feelings. And when you see it, you go, wow, I, I felt these feelings before. Your attraction system is bringing to you people and experiences that hopefully will put you in touch with feelings that really need your attention. And as we do that, and as soon as we do that, we start to connect with those feelings. Uh, we start to go into that inner kid part uh, we start to work through that. We don't need another person coming into our life, putting us in touch with the feelings because you're doing the work in calm moments away from these interactions to get in touch with those parts of you, what you feel. So in the future then, when, you, when, when you're around people, you're just much, much less triggered. But two other things start to happen. That incredible attraction system is now shifting. It's still attracting, but it no longer needs to bring you those old types to put you face to face with those feelings because you're working through it. And... You no longer need those types and you're aware of how you want to feel and you're aware of how you don't want to feel. And you can start to see these red flag types coming a mile away and you step aside. And that's the difference. So when you're ready to stop getting the wrong types, it starts with you and your relationship with you. And as that changes, your relationship with the people around you and the kinds that you start to attract starts to change. If you like this video and was helpful to you, that's awesome. I'm happy. I'm trying to help you grow. Hit the subscribe button over there. Help us grow the channel. Click on the notification bell so you know when new videos come up. I post every day almost as much as I possibly can. There's a lot of healing we need to do and a lot of happiness we want to achieve. Share it with a friend who needs to hear this. Keep going. Keep growing. We'll talk more soon.